Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, haven't done a video in a few weeks. It's kind of just been day-to-day uh, -day stuff that we've really been doing. Not much for farm stuff. Been moving the steers. They are through the one half. Now they're on to the other half, and they're pretty much down to the bottom of this. So they're coming out of this clover, some grass. You know, they they have figured out what to go after. They target that. Um, yes, they do walk, but as you can see. They are not looking skinny. Um, here's a nice look at what our steers are looking like. Got him as well. That's the smallest one. So, but they're down in this corner. You know, they can eat the leaves. They can eat, find all the grass. You can see there's a lot of grass so there. Is a lot of wild grass too, or wild flowers. Um, but they put their head down in. There is some clover and stuff down there too. So, but they're doing what I need them to do, which is flatten this. I let this sit for about a couple days, let the grass start to take growth, and uh, then I come in to mow it. So you can see up the hill, it's gradually been different stages. So we got three or four on that side. We had one, two, three. This is their fourth move on this side. So you know, we're shooting for about three days on every chunk. Um, this is a little bit bigger chunk, so I'll probably give them most of the week and then uh, they will get a bale so I brought a bale over from that stuff I cut um, it was the first bale I did I didn't put enough string on it because I started lifting it and you heard something pop so I rode those up up on the hill but anyway so yeah that's you can see that's where they'll go to and then we'll have another section here, another section there. So, but anyway, yeah, they move. They're active, but you saw there. There's grass down here. There's grass in certain spots. They'll find it. But yeah, there's the there's our bales. So or that's half of them. But anyway, yeah, I brought that up. They can. We'll put a bale ring around that and set that either down here or maybe we'll put it up there but they can sort through that and figure out what they want out of that and we'll save some time in the grass and then you know another two weeks because we're getting constant rain um another two weeks of that should be done ready to graze off again so we'll just start back into it so trying to shoot for roughly the 28 days um we're getting the we're in the rain that we need so and that's the other reason why I haven't really wanted to narrow up the areas because I had a, uh, it got, we got wet and there's a spot right up in here where they had trommed it down real bad, made kind of a, made a mud path and I not really want that to start happening. So anyway, I will uh, do an update on the hay because you can see that's not down yet and what we're planning doing for equipment wise, so stay tuned. All right, so here's the bale that I did. I just pulled it aside to see if there was any mold. I mean, yeah, you can see it's just shitty grass, but it is what it is. Um, we're gonna feed this out. As you can see, there's one string, two string, three string, that's it. So I don't want these to rot up there and then have to try to set, get a bale moved up or down here, so. But yeah, you can see nothing's been cut yet. Um, we have not had, other than that one week that I was able to get that, but even that got rained on, we haven't had much of a chance at getting anything cut. Um, but I've also been wanting to let a lot of this stuff go to seed because you can see on that hillside, it just, it's not. The drought last year really sucked for trying to get stuff established. It's nice over here. Down in there, you can see a lot of that brown. That's all the orchard grass went around this side, so. But, um, yeah, we're kind of waiting. Most people around here, the neighbor to the south, he does a little bit of small square bailing. Um, he cut like a third of it and just dropped it and then the rest he let grow. I have a neighbor who's got an 80 over there. Um, he cut his headlands and that's it. I don't think he's cut anything from what I can see. So, yeah, it's just kind of been one of those wet years, whatever, it is what it is. Um, you know, just letting it do its thing and uh, 
when we can, we'll cut it off. I'm not, with how thick it is and some of these spots, I think we're gonna need, because it hasn't been that warm overall too. I mean, it's only in the 70s. Future looks like low 70s for highs. So really it's, you know, we don't have those hot days to really bake it out. So, but it is what it is. We'll cut it um, and then roll it up and get some feed made for the winter. And then, uh, you know, take it a second cut, get it fertilized. I My plan is to where you can see, right, it's real bad along there. I have a bag of uh, alfalfa left, so we're gonna end up seeding down that hillside with alfalfa. Um, yeah, the alfalfa just didn't come in like I had hoped. There's a few spots where you can see, there's some plants that did come in, but I think just with the dry year, it just really, really didn't help anything, so. But, you know, a lot of other grasses like this really have came in strong. Talon ryegrass, that's all over. Orchard grass is really good over there and down there in the clover. So, you know, it's not the worst, worst uh, feed in the world. Um, we'll improve upon it and see where we go. So, yeah, we just, uh, we've had a few showers today. It's just kind of one of those days where it's just shower for five minutes, then move on, and then another shower half hour later or whatever. So, uh, that's about all I got for you guys. Just, uh, Ask for a like, comment, subscribe, you know, leave your, got any words of advice or whatever. You guys are pretty good about comments, so. Yeah, just uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you with you later.